back in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. I am your friend, Otto. Please! I've always supported you. I always will! Supported me by... There it is. The atropine! Just need to mix up the antidote. Looks like I'm headed back to the lab. Still with us? And we're the church. Sorry to bust up your plans. Oh, man. Don't worry. Plenty of surprises left for you. We'll be near each other again. We'll see you soon. Count on it. I need to mix the antidote. Finally, the re- ah! <laughs> I think not! You're in my domain now! You're just like us, boy. Trying to steal my genius! Everything that happens now is your fault! Thought I forgot about you. Scorpion, are you even real? Give me an opening. Another hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. Trying to distract me. Put one down. You're a loser. All you'll ever be is a loser. Can't let him get to me. Scorpion than my subconscious. Hope oh, that's the last of them. I can barely stand up. There's the equipment I need. took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. <laughs> Head's still foggy. I need to work the last of the poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol.
units in stable control. The boss wants a sit rep on the garrison in Chelsea. 10 4, this is APC Sierra. We are commencing our patrol. Watch your windows? Heavy ordnance, all fine. Toss a kind of thorny ethical question at you. When is it okay to give up on a friend? Oh wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? That obvious, huh? Yeah, understandable though. Man. The high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, MJ. I gotta process some stuff, I think. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. I need to get after Scorpion, but I haven't seen Aunt May face to face since the fire. I think I can afford a quick pit stop at Feast. Available units need response to a break in. Incident is ongoing near Union Square. Please copy. Over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> oh. oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't 
Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, oh, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay. You stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Quiet, quiet. So much for a milk run. How did a bunch of convicts even do this? Looks like an exploding bulldozer went through here. I can't turn back. Beast needs those antibiotics. You hear the sound his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Splat. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Got a few seconds. Dude's got issues, man. Big ones. Should be able to hop that wall. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Goss? How are you dying? But no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. Both of them. You two, get over here! All right, all right, all right. Control, status, nothing to report. Hurt something. This can stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules for your supply. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. So set on taking out these relief centers. Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. <laughs> Who's that? Drama. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Come on. Let's keep digging through it. Another supply tent. A couple trauma kits, but no antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Like Gotta avoid that sniper. associate is inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <gasps> Did not need to see that.
the opening. Let me know I have these. Get off me! Just give us the wallet! Give it us, man! Help! Hey, leave him alone! Big mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? Haha, <laughs> kids got guts. Hip square. The hell's he saying? I'm not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! Whoa. You wanna taste? Nah, I'm good, kid. Okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacked. King Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. Be advised, fugitives are opening fire from stolen vehicles. Officers near Gramercy, please report. I gotta shut this convoy down. 
Hey, MJ, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Coming through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten-hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How could I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. It just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. You could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. Now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures. In safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete. All units, escaped prisoners have seized the transit. Backup needed in Bloomingdale. That shot. Calling agents in Manhattanville. Requesting an update on your status. Control, APC Tango pursuing escape prisoners. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Beast and eggs, folk. All of life is beast and eggs. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more excuse! No more rhino! Look out, Rhino! Poachers! You 
are not funny! Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorpius, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut him, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. So you guys and Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about the we murdered Spider-Man and used his corpse for a blanket? Hey, Gargan, please, you embarrass yourself. <laughs> Get me out of here! Feel that, Be yourself! Get him, you idiot! Get him! Come down and help, Brock! Guys! Yeah. 
that a gargan! I will squash bug myself! We could just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! Rhino stunned. Time for Fist of Fury. Come here, Dodge. I will keep you. My jaw's already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Didn't I hear you took a poetry yes, class in the raft? Like a therapy ah. thing? Time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Ten forty-three. Now, reports are coming in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you-know-who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash! Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Excuse me. The lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire... It's... Yeah, that elevator goes... There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Off limits, ma'am. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs! Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now! Security Don't room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said enough. Hello. Man, I 
I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Control, grid's clear. Repeat, grid's clear. Control, I heard something. Running a sp Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the sick. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Could really use a coffee. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. It's the combat prototype from the schematic. The fabul- Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was no secret keypad behind the family portrait? Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? 
Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. You'd be surprised if this room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but... Thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick... Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the Labitat now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. 
Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. July 18. Bingo. Sue, gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Norman Osborne, GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Huh. Commercial- Wow. So many records facilities. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's Sable troop deployments. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... Oscorp's records department. 
Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. lab location and a lot more how far away are you two avenues over say the word and i'm there great keep the motor running Need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. 
This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. <laughs> 